Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today we're going to cover draw downs within Power BI and the different functionality that we have available to us when drilling down our data. Now before we get started, let's go through an example of what drill downs are and what the functionality behind that is. If we select one of our visuals, so out over here we have total cells and then we have our regions. So and you can see in our axis we have regions and then we have our total cells. If we select one of our columns, so let's say east, we can now drill through this data to break down into segments. So within the east region we have the home office, corporate and consumer segment and then our total cells broken down by east. And once again if we select another breakdown we can do corporate and now we'll break down by subcategory. So what this is showing us is in the east region in our corporate segment tables did 17,000 in total sales. So that was one way to do a drill down. The next functionality is actually drilling down the data regardless of what the previous level in the hierarchy was. So for example, right now we have region. Let's say we just wanted to see total sales for the next level, which is our segments, but we don't care what region it was. We can click this button over here and what this will do is give us our total sales for the segment region regardless of what the previous level was. So as you can see, there's no region, there's no east south. This is just the total sales sum. And once again, if we click this button, this will show us our subcategories, total sales, regardless of what segments they were or what region, it will just include everything that's available. And our third way of drilling down data, this will actually create buckets of our data. So if we click this down, what we can see is this has actually created buckets for west, south, east and central. And we can see that it has broken down the data to show you everything all at once. So for west, we have home office, corporate consumer, south, east, etc. It has separated this data and it's a different view, a more holistic view of seeing what your breakdown of data is. And once again, if we select that, we can see it's much wider as it has had to create more buckets but we have our subcategories so for home office in the east region we can see that it's created all the relevant buckets for our previous um, segments so how do we go about actually creating this what i'm going to do let's open up a new tab here and the first thing you want to do is create the visual you want to drill down so i have one already built so let me just bring this over we have our cells by region i'm going to bring this onto this page we now have our visual that we want to break down. At the moment, if we take a look at the axis, we only have one level in our hierarchy, and this is the region. Now, to drill this down further, what we need to do is think about what do we want to drill down south by, or what do we want to drill this data down by. So in our case here, let's bring down category, and let's pull this into the axis region over here. And now that we've brought this over here, this little call, um, this row at the top will open up. We want to select the click to turn on drill down button. And now what we can do is drill this data down. And if we want to go further, we can bring in another drill down. So let's do subcategory, put that underneath axis, and we can bring this down further. Now it's worth noting, if we wanted to create buckets, by default, it won't actually do this. So if we go down, and click this we can see it has concatenated our labels for example east technology west furniture and it's not showing us the data like like it is in this view how do we go about actually enabling this what you want to do is if we click our visual go to format x-axis and we want to make sure concatenate labels is off and then what we want to do here is come to the three dots over here sort by and then sort by your region category and as we can see or whatever your option will be available there we want to sort by that and now we have our data uh, into buckets and it's a lot easier to consume when working with drill downs so let's go back up we click south we can see that it's created the south bucket or we can just come down like this and it's doing this all automatically so definitely play around with that and um, use it how you will now, before we move on to drill throughs, I think it's essential we talk about creating hierarchies because right now what we're doing is dragging in each level manually. And this is not wrong per se, but it's better to create a hierarchy that will actually have these all existing in a structure. So whenever you bring this in, it has it done automatically. So let me show you what I mean by this. If we go to our fields, let's get our top level of the hierarchy. So this will be your first view. So if we're working with, let's say, 
uh, our products, category would be the top level in our hierarchy. So what we want to do is click more options, then create hierarchy. And as you can see, this has created something called create a category hierarchy two, because I have one already made. Now, what we want to do, we want to break this data down further. What we can do is let's go down to subcategory. Let's put that as a breakdown. We're going to do add to hierarchy, category hierarchy two. And then for subcategory underneath that, we want to have uh, products. So let's put our product names. There should be something here called product names. And let's put that in there as well. Add to hierarchy. And that should be their product name. So if we actually remove all this from our visual and bring this into our axis, as you can see, it has brought through all of our hierarchy into the axis label and we can remove this depending on what we want to do but this is just best practice when you're sharing reports and it's quite obvious what the hierarchy of data is so it's, it's, it's good practice to do this